16th, PQ 13, 1942. Let's see what the enemy has. Wrong ocean. Right ocean. Ooh, that little hipper. It's going to be a surface battle in the Arctic. Okay. Mm. Got cards that aren't playable in the Arctic. Could switch to combined. If I do that, I'll make that my last thing. So in the meantime, I think uh, PQ 13. Okay, we're faded against PQ 13. So that's our best play. Um, so two against uh, four now. So it's okay, they're faded. And so the Turn C, wrong ocean, give them another chance, wrong ocean. So they get no turn C. I forgot to draw up. Three, six, eight, nine. Now I could use the Admiral to play two cards. Maybe go uh, do that. I don't think I want to put the Avenger in, but. Uh, we'll bring out the trident and that Cossack. So this will give me a strength of seven against two. It's unlikely. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> and here we have an example of watching the fate, right? And I did not uh, stack this deck. It just happened this way. So PQ-13 is the convoy. The Trinidad faded against PQ-13. This was a um, strength um, four, you know, doubled two. And so it was in play fate. <laughs> the, the Axis, they draw the Trinidad killer, the Junkers um, 88A. And so this is immediately lost, goes into the Axis spoils pile. Um, that really shifted the game. We have a um, uh, combat value of three on the Axis side against three on the Allied side. And that makes it a tied battle. I forgot to draw up here. So I should have... Um, after I played my cards, I should have filled my hand, because that's what you do in a solitaire play. You fill your hand after you play so that you have your full hand um, to look at um, for the next one. But um, <clears throat> because it's a tied battle, then all of these cards, just like in you know regular play, go under here, under the convoy, and we now have a new round of combat for this same convoy. So we know it's 1942, um, and just like in the regular version of the game, because it's a tied battle, we can now discard any cards we want from our hands. Whether we played that turn or discarded that turn, it's okay, because um, the idea is that we now know the year and the ocean, we can try and um, shape our new hand to better be able to fight in this upcoming battle. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to toss away all of our um, uh, uh, North Atlantic only cards. And then do we want to keep any of these? Um, this is X-Craft, which is the wrong year. It's only playable in 43, so I'm going to toss that as well. So I'm ready for, I'm very strong for an air battle if it were to come, but so I'm tossing these five, whoops, put that German in the wrong discard pile. Um, tossing these five cards and I'll be able to refill my hand. Two, three, four, five. I only almost reached the bottom of my deck, which is good. I'll be able to cycle through 
Um, and the Axes have already had an opportunity to reshuffle their discard pile. So a little slower than they are. And so here we are. So let's start our new round of combat. And it's going to be a sub-battle. Here's Kretschmer. Uh, he's a four strength. 1942. I do not have the Kretschmer sinker. So, sub battle. I do not have, these won't be playable. I do not have bonuses. Um, nevertheless, I want to participate in this. So, I'm going to put out the. Out the antelope. Can't believe they sank the Trinidad, but it, ended, it happened. All right, enemy turn C. Uh, wrong ocean. One more try. Wrong ocean. Or wolf packs. Not in the Arctic. Okay, so three, six, nine, and we'll put the shoddies out. So we're going to see what happens to PQ-13. Okay, right ocean. Legal play. Um, allied strength is six. Um, this would give the axis a strength of five, which is less than six, so it's considered a losing battle. Therefore, they will not commit KG-40 to this round of combat. We will discard it instead and the allies win so we'll discard those Kretschmer is a spoil we get the convoy and we get um, the two axis cards that were under there and these become spoils and that gets added to our spoils pile so that was the end of that round that uh, tied combat for PQ-13 after the last round of battle, you count up the spoils that the enemy side won, and you compare that to the number of spoils that uh, you won, and whoever had the most victory points is the winner. In this case, in the game that I just demoed, I had a early advantage, which allowed me to then maintain a slight lead throughout and win the game. So next time I play, I might want to increase the challenge and give the enemy three chances on enemy turn C and enemy turn E to draw a legal play rather than just the two chances um, that I was showing you today. But um, what I want you to know is that feel free to modify that however you want. If you know you feel like um, the enemy's winning too much, um, you know, cut that back down to like one um, chance on enemy turn C and enemy turn E. Um, or, you know, if you're winning too handily, um, increase that number. So um, thank you for watching today. I hope you will try the solitaire version. And until next time, um, have fun playing. Bye.